and welcome back to our channel and today's topic is all about timeline of arts in the Philippines Philippine art period timeline pre-colonial art period Spanish colonial art period American colonial art period post-war contemporary art period the objective of uh, the timeline study is to identify the development of Philippine art aesthetics from its most primal and to its contemporary form. Understand the process and iconography of Philippine art as it progresses over time. Correlate with yourselves the Philippine contemporary art to its origin and the world. And define what makes an artwork indistinctly Filipino. Aesthetics, a set of principles concerned with the nature and appreciation of beauty, especially in art, the branch of philosophy that deals with the principles of beauty and artistic taste. Aesthetics and aesthetics, the word is derived from ancient Greek aesthetikos or aesthetikos meaning aesthetic, sensitive, sentient, sentient pertaining to sense perceptions which in turn was derived from I stand no my meaning I perceive I feel sense aesthetic is a branch of philosophy that examines the nature of art and our experience of it it emerged during the 18th century in Europe and developed in England as philosophers group together such fields as poetry sculpture music and dance pre-colonial art period in the philippines 6185 bc to 1520 a.d age of horticulture neolithic period 6185 to 4400 bc metal aids 3190 to 190 BC Iron Age 200 BC to 1000 BC Okay, I'll make a correction Iron Age is 200 BC to 100 BC Local communities are being established and art starts to go beyond mere craft Example is stone weapons or jewelry but starts to have decorative elements meaning and context old stone age paleolithic spinoza rand site in cagayan 16,000 to 800 bc the proof of earliest man's presence was recovered from a ranch site in cagayan province two flight tools dated about 9 million years, the oldest man-made object associated with fossil of a probus sidin, a prehistoric elephant. Other flake tools are recovered in tabon caves in Palawan and some stone tools in Bulubuk Cave in Sangasanga, Tawi-Tawi. Notable art pieces, shell bracelets and pendants belong to Neolithic found in Cagayan, Palawan and Sorsogon 4854 BC shells were fashioned into tools as well as ornaments the oldest known ornament made from cone shells were found in the early 1960s in the grave of an old adult male in Duyung Cave in Palawan a shell disc with a hole in the center was found next to his right to his right ear and a disc with a hole by the edge was found on his chest the shell ornaments were dated 4854 bc aguno petroglyphs are all these known works of art in the philippines this must be angono or angono in uh, Rizal. So Agono, make that Anguno petroglyphs are all this known work of art in the Philippines located in the province of Rizal. Am I right? That's Anguno. There are 127 human and animal figures engraved 
on the rock wall probably carved during that period. Important artworks Ling Ling 2000 BC to 1000 AD Duyong Cave found in Duyong Cave, Palawa a kind of ear pendant fashioned from green nipright jade is the characteristic of trait of early metal age one of the finest jade ornaments found to date is the double headed pendant covered from Duyong Cave still in Palawan it is an example of the superb craft concept of ancient carving in jade the Manunggul jar burial jar excavated from Neolithic burial site in Manunggul cave of Tabon caves caves at Lipun point in Palawan dating from 890 to 710 BC important works Maitom jar metal age 190 BC to 500 AD in 1991, the National Museum archaeological team discovered anthropomorphic secondary burials or burial jars in Ayub Cave, Barangay Pinol, Maitum, Sarangani Province. The center graphics is watercolor image from the Boxer Codex. Published in 1590, the rare publication helped date and ID many pieces that were discovered in Surigao. Wow, Surigao really is the center of archaeological discovery of golds. Surigao gold's object date stamp could be placed in the span of 10 to 13 centuries AD. That's pre-Hispanic time. Pre-colonial arts forms Pre-colonial traditional art have religious symbols. Everyday activities such as fishing, farming, etc. or specific decorative art pattern to the community. It has either the influence of local religion, animistic, or Islamic based. The pre-colonial art forms Pre-colonial traditional art have religious symbols, everyday activities such as fishing, farming, etc. or a specific decorative art pattern to the community. It has either the influence of local religion animistic or Islamic based. There is also an exchange of art aesthetics and art processes with the Chinese and other Asian countries who frequent as traders with our indigenous groups. Example is the Baibayin, a Tagalog ancient script also known in Visayan as Badlit, derived from Brahmic scripts of India and first recorded in the 16th century. It continued to be used during the Spanish colonization of the Philippines up until the late 19th century. Other pre-colonial art pottery, weaving, tattoo, jewelry, carving, and metal crafts. And chains art design is still existing today. The ochre motif is an artistic cultural heritage of the Maranaos of Lanao, Philippines. It is an artistic design of the Maranao native inhabitants of the southern Philippines beginning from early 6th century before the Islamization of the area. Ochre is a design or pattern often rendered or curved in hardwood, brass, silver, and wall painting in corvilinear lines and Arabic geometric figures. Patterns of the Ochre In the book of Dr. Nagazura Madali, it explained that the Ochre has patterns which are used by the Maranao artist. Number one, matilak, circle, puyuk, bud, dapal, leaf, pako, fern or spiral form or spiral form, todi, fern, leaf with spiral wrapper edge, pako, longgat, fern, leaf with a cut at one edge. Another elements found Dr. Madali are naga, ubid, ubid, binutuun, kianuko, pakunai, and Tiali Litali. That's the ochre 
common theme of the ochre. Turugan, known as the flower symbol of the ancestral home of the highest title holder in the Maranao village. The prominent part is panulong, carved beam that protrudes in front of the house. It symbolizes power and prestige. Naga or serpent, sarimanok, a chicken-like figure that carries a beak, a fish on its beak. Modern interpretation of the ochre rendered in an artwork. Sarimanok and Fish Abdul Mari Asia Imau National Artist for Painting Acrylic on Canvas is the medium Spanish colonial art period 1521 to 1898 introduced formal painting sculpture and architecture which was inspired by Byzantine, Gothic, Baroque and Rococo art styles Most artworks are religious, Catholic. Artworks bear in the Philippine themes decor even until today. Spanish art aesthetics, as adapted by Filipino artists, the Byzantine painting style, attributed to Maitri Alaricheri, Battle of Marigano, Marignano in 1515. Filipino interpretation by Esteban Villanueva, Basi Revolt, 1821, Painting. Spanish art aesthetics as adapted by Filipino artist. Byzantine frescoes, 11 to 12th century, the Church of Panaya, Panayia por Biotisa, Cyprus. Langit Lupa at Imperno, Joseph Luciano Dance. Byzantine art are artistic products of Eastern Roman Byzantine Empire as well as the nations and states that inherited culturally from the empire. These are more Christian-based art. Spanish art aesthetics as adapted by Filipino, example Baroque aesthetics, Cathedral Church Saint of Saint Mary in Murcia, Spain, and being copied here in the Philippines. By Filipino interpretation, Mia Gao Church, also known as the Santo Tomas de Villanueva Paris Church in Mia Gao, Iloilo. Spanish art aesthetics as adapted by Filipino artists. Rococo aesthetics, Rococo art originated in the early 18th century in Paris. is characterized by whimsical curvy lines and elaborately decorative style of art, whose name derives from Prince word Rokaili meaning rock work after the forms of seashells. In the Philippines, Gothic aesthetics, Gothic art is a style of art produced in the Northern Europe from the Middle Ages up until the beginning of Renaissance, typically rooted in religious devotion. It is especially known for distinctive arts design of its churches, its stained glass, and illuminated manuscripts. Spanish colonialism lives on with the Filipino antique furnitures and carving designs. Baroque inspired wood carvings of table relief statue made by Juan Flores, father of Pampanga sculpture and wood carving. A pricing of the Philippine artist in the formation of the elite Filipino class, the Ilustrado, Pave way to the rich locals to study abroad. A more academic and western approach has been learned. The Filipino classicism is form that borrows the neoclassicism, romanticism, and even a hint of impressionism. The father of Filipino painting, Damian Domingo, first Filipino to paint his face, the first self-portrait in the Philippines founder of Academia de Bojo y Pintura, the first school of drawing in the Philippines in 1821. One of the known artists of the decorative art illustration, Tipos del Pais, watercolor paintings that depict local costumes. It is also became an album of different styles. Juan Luna y Novicio, internationally renowned artist, 
Juan Luna y Novicio was a Filipino painter, sculptor, and a political activist, make that activist of the Philippine Revolution during the late 19th century. His Espolarium won the gold medal in 1884 in Madrid, Exposition of Fine Arts. Felix Resurrection Hidalgo, one of the greatest Filipino painters along with the Philip painter Juan Luna in the 19th century. His work has a touch of romanticism and aesthetics of neoclassicism. Two Filipino art styles developed during the Spanish period, the Minya Turismo art style that pays attention to the embroidery and texture of the costume, Letras y Figuras art style that fuses letters with figures an everyday activity amidst in a common background, usually used in a painting patron's full name. American Colonial Art Period, 1898-1946 The Filipino artist starts looking for his identity. American Colonial Art, 1898-1946 in the Philippines, the American broth in education and value formation with both following the American way of life. Art illustration, advertising, and commercial design gained popularity and incorporated in fine arts. Painting themes still largely favored general painting, landscapes, and still life. Portraits are reserved for high-ranking officials with more academic approach to make the subject more formal. Popular art styles during the Philippine colonial American period The Neoclassicism in the Architecture Example is the White House Neoclassicism in the Philippines Architecture Example The City Hall of Davao Popular art style during the Philippine colonial American period Art Deco Architecture Example, the Chrysler Building in New York City and in the Philippines, Art Deco Architecture, the Metropolitan Theater. Metamorphosis of the Revert of the Metropolitan Theater. Popular art styles during the Philippine Colonial American period, the Art Nobu in the Philippine Architecture, the Oi Chaco Building is one of the examples. Art Nobo in uh, architecture. Old England building built in Art Nobo style. The Musi Dis Instruments. The Music Brussels. Art Nobo, a style of decorative art, architecture, and design prominent in Western Europe and in the US from about 1890 until World War I and characterize intricate linear design and flowing curves based on natural forms. Commercial art or graphic art Noble artist Fabian de la Rosa, the brightest name in the Philippine painting after Luna and certainly the leading master of genre in the first quarter of the century. Fernando Amor Solo, a portraitist, a painter, a rural landscape. He is best known for his craftsmanship and mastery in the use of light. His art style, impressionism, luminism, realism with subject, inspired by Philippine genre and historical nudes and society portraits. First awardee of the National Artist Award in 1972. Guillermo Tolentino, the National Artist Awards for Sculpture in 1973. He is considered as the father of the Philippine arts because of his great works like the famous Bonifacio Monument symbolizing Filipinos' cry for freedom and the oblation in UP, signifying academic freedom. Emergence of the Philippine pre modern art. Triumvirate of Philippine Modern Art Victorio Idadis Carlos Botong Francisco Carlo B. Ocampo introduced the modern arts styles such as the pop art, maximalism, minimalism, abstraction, expressionism, 
constructivism, magic realism, and environmental art before the World War II. The legend of the 13 modern, these are Victoria, or they were Victoria Idades, Hernando R. Ocampo, Vicente Manansala, Ricarte Purugunan, Carlos Francisco, Cesar Legaspe, Anita Magsaysayho, Bonifacio Cristobal, Galo B., Justado Lorenzo, and Demetrio Diego, and Arsenio Capelli. Post-Colonial Art, 1946-1986, right after the World War II. Example of this is the painting Maria Makiling by Botong Francisco. Post-colonial period 1946-1986 Contemporary period 1986 to present The Philippine Modern Art 1946-1970 The study of determining what is Philippine contemporary art period is still being determined since the word has been used loosely used even during the American colonial period. However, some Philippine art historians and critics has always been a follower of the Western art style and its trends at that point and thus suggested that this was actually the point where Philippine modern art period started but went only full swing only after the war. This is set by the creation of the Art Association of the Philippines, the AAP, that in a way has a strong leaning with the modernist than conservatives, the traditional art also form or term as the Amor Solo School. Post-colonial period 1946, contemporary period 1986 to the present, the Philippine post-modern art 1970 to 1980s. The support of the Philippine government for the arts via the creation of Cultural Center of the Philippines during 1969 gave a venue for all artists to experiment and explore different art medium tying closely to the postmodern art period of the West with the pop art, installation art, performance art dominating the scene in the contrast. Social realism became a heavy theme by most Filipino artists as a social commentary of the problem brewing in the Philippine political and social landscape. Philippine contemporary art, 1980s to the present. It was on the set of the sudden rise of personal computers and new technology created a new art medium for the arts and human expression. But there were also countless revivals of the old styles being done this started a new direction for the arts thus setting the name momentarily the philippine contemporary period modern art aesthetics modern art is characterized by the artist intent to portray a subject as it is exists in the world according to his or her unique perspective and is typified by a rejection of accepted or traditional styles and values. The postmodern art is a body of art movements that sought to contradict some aspects of modernism or some aspect that emerged or developed in its aftermath. In general movements such as intermedia, installation art, conceptual art, and multimedia, particularly involving video, are described as postmodern. Contemporary art, as the work of artists who are living in the 21st century, contemporary art mirrors contemporary culture and society, offering the general audiences a rich resource through which to consider current ideas and rethink the familiar. The work of contemporary artists is dynamic combination of materials, method, concepts, and subject that challenges traditional boundaries and defies easy definition. Our terms in 2003 installation dimension variable.
the contemporary art characteristic in globally influenced, cultural, diverse, and technologically advancing world, contemporary artists give voice to the varied and changing cultural landscape of identity, values, and beliefs. New term, alti or alter modernism, an attempt at contextualizing art made in today's global context as a common or as a reaction against standardization and commercialism. Artists are beginning to look for a new modernity that would be based on translation. What matters today is to translate the cultural values of culture groups and to connect them to the world network. This reloading process of modernism according to the 21st century issues could be called alter modernism, a movement connected to the creolization of cultures and the fight for autonomy, but also the possibility of producing singularities in a more and more standardized or standardized world. Alter modern can essentially be read as an artist working in a hyper modern world or with super modern ideas or themes. The title of the Tate Britain's fourth triennial exhibition last 2009, curated by Nicolas Bouriod. The Tate exhibition includes a series of four one day events called prologues aiming to introduce and provoke debate around the trennial themes. Its prologue includes lectures, performances, film, and manifesto text and attempts to define what the curator sees as the four main facets of alter modern. The end of postmodernism, cultural hybridization, traveling as a new way the expanding format of arts the example is the girl by Ron Weck hyperrealism painting by Jolmar Vincente well that's all for our topic today guys about the timeline of arts in the Philippines Thank you so much and don't forget to answer the questions. Okay guys, here are the questions. This is a multiple choice type. Okay, number one question. Which of the following best describes contemporary art? Number two, which of the following is an example of pre-conquest art? Number three, in terms of cultural overview, which of the following characteristics refers to contemporary art? Number four, multiple choice, which of the following is described by historians as academic? Number five, if traditional work of art follows us to blank, the craftsmanship of the artist is an installation allows us to blank the artwork fill in the blanks okay and for explanation here are the questions what are the different periods in history of the Philippine art what are the factors that influence the development of contemporary art forms what is the inspiration of the early arts in the Philippines what do you call the art made and produced by artists in this present time what era had the most significant influence in the Philippines in the Philippine art? What is the most significant period in the Philippine history of art? What makes Philippine art unique? How did the Philippine art started? And how did the Philippine contemporary arts develop? That's all for today folks. And don't forget to make comments on every video that we uploaded because that is your attendance. Ciao for now.